Hello everyone. Welcome to Jira Training. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a test case in Jira. So as in previous sessions, we have already understood how you can enable test management in Jira. So there are many test management plugins available in Jira Marketplace. So what we have done is we have installed the most popular one, which is Zephyr which enables the test management functionality within Jira. Okay, And also, as we know that in Jira, every uh, project is a collection of issues. So similarly, a test case in Jira is nothing but an, an issue type. Okay? So for example, we have an issue type for story, task, subtask, etc. So test case is another issue type in story. So if you if you want to search for a particular you know, like test case, you just need to follow the similar queries for basic and advanced search uh, and replace the issue type as test to search uh, for the for the test cases in Jira. Okay, so um, let's let's get uh, started uh, on the navigation part of how you can uh, go ahead and create the test cases. So uh, creating test cases is pretty straightforward. Go to the header and you will find the uh, tests tab. So if uh, Zephyr has been installed, you will see this test uh, test app uh, test drop down. So just click on that and click on create a test. Okay. So by default, I mean, uh, I had already selected a project, but uh, ideally, uh, the, the best way to do is to select the project first. For example, you want to create a project, uh, create a test case in Mumba project. So I'll select the project um, and then go to the test drop down and click on create a test. All right. So it will create, it will open the create issue um, page and issue type you'll see here is selected as test. So, so Zephyr uh, plugin or any other test management plugin, what they do is they do they just provide another issue type uh, as as test and with some of the more functionalities for that uh, particular test for example you know like uh, expected results and actual results so sort of providing the test case and test related functionalities within that template all right so i'll go through this template uh, one by one so you, you can see the project is mumba project here issue type is test and you need to provide the summary and report these are the mandatory field you see the little red star here so that means that these are the mandatory field for creating um, this type of issue okay so i'll just say this is a test this is first um, test case i'll just say uh, and you need to select the components so for example at the moment there are no components defined so uh, it shows us none but uh, if you have components defined in the project like um, your database or ui so you can select the components for which particular component this test case belongs to and then you can provide a bit of description for the test case in the description section here um, then fixed version you don't need to worry about or uh, if if required if you know that you are working towards any fixed version or the release version so for example this particular uh, test case relates to a story which is planned for the version 3 so you can just select the fixed version as 3 here uh, then priority uh, is another you know like you need to select the priority of this test case depending on what is the priority uh, of this particular you know, like uh, test case so you need to select that and labels you need to provide the label so it's free form field or uh, you, you can create the labels which are relevant to this particular test case or you can select the existing labels to attach uh, to this test case then under linked issues is something very important for the traceability feature of uh, that that you need for the test cases or any um, any any test cases that you write you need to have traceability back to the requirement so if you select relates to um, uh, linked issue and then select the issue type so for example you can say this 
issue type or this test case relates to this uh, user story 14 you just select that then there will be a traceability or there will be a link of these test cases below that user story and you can see whether the number of test cases that you have written for that particular user story are sufficient or good enough to cover that functionality as a whole so this is very important features so are linking the issues to the story so that you can have the traceability backward to the with the requirements and then assignee you are creating the test case if you, if you um, so usually you know, like it will be a reviewer if you want to get the issues reviewed with a business analyst as such so you can assign it to either yourself initially and then assign it to BA for the review once you are done with the test case then epic link is another traceability feature so as, as you have linked the issue to the story um, the good thing is to assign the epic link as well for that particular test case so you know which particular particular epic has been covered as part of the you know like that test case which which uh, epic uh, which uh, epic is being um, addressed by that particular test case and then sprint is the current sprint so if you're following um, agile development methodology then you need to select the sprint when uh, you are designing this test case so most probably it will be like um, the active sprint you are within which you are working on um, and then uh, you need to provide the Zephyr test step so you, you need to provide the test step test data and the expected results so test step uh, would be something like uh, your uh, so for example verify user is able to launch Mumba um, website and then for the data will be the URL of the website need to provide that in data column and expected result it is user um, should be able to launch the site in IE browser okay, I'll mention here IE browser okay so that's that's a high level you know like step just click on add and then you can keep adding uh, further test steps to this test case so once you are satisfied that everything uh, all the information is uh, fine in this test case just click on create button here and you'll see that your first test case has been created in Jira so to, to go ahead and see the details around that so you can see you know like the fixed version is there uh, the type is there priority that you have selected if you want to modify that later after creation it's pretty easy you can just click on this pencil icon and select the change change the details for the priority um, and the version etc uh, similarly for the test details so you can edit the test steps you can add more test steps or you can delete or re reshuffle uh, the test step so for example you want to you know like move the this first test step uh, to second number uh, and you want to add one more test step at the top then you can do that so and then under issue links you can see that this test case is linked to the user story MOP 14 right so that gives you a bit of um, a good traceability feature so you can um, ensure that that particular story has been covered with ample number of test cases and there is nothing missing all right so this is um, all about uh, creating the test case in Jira in further sessions we will um, learn more about uh, the cloning of the test cases thank you